Following disasters, insurance fraud can add millions of dollars paid out by insurers, resulting in higher premiums for all of us. The National Insurance Crime Bureau's president and CEO, David Glowey, joining us now with insights on how to avoid fraud after a natural disaster. So thank you so much for joining us. And why is contractor fraud becoming so prevalent and who is committing these acts? Thank you for having me. We're seeing more catastrophic events. In 2023, we had over $93 billion in insurance claims related to catastrophic events. And specifically out of that, we had over $10 billion we estimated in fraudsters that took money for the victims. Uh, in Florida, you've had over 25 catastrophic events in the last five years. But just as an interesting data point, in 1982, we averaged one catastrophic event approximately every 80 days. Last year, we averaged a catastrophic event or one every 12 days. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, this is definitely relevant to our area with like hurricanes and just severe weather in general. Uh, so what is the NICB doing to help stop contractor fraud from occurring? So the National Insurance Crime Bureau, we've been around over 100 years. We have investigators in all 50 states and U.S. territories. As an example, in 2022, we responded with your state law enforcement departments to Hurricane Ian. We identified over 30 contractors that were committing fraudulent acts in the first two weeks. We help investigate and prosecute those individuals, as well as passing that information directly to the insurance carriers so they don't pay out those fraudulent claims. We've also partnered with CFO Jimmy Patronis and Governor DeSantis on Contractor Fraud Awareness Week, that's why we're here today, uh, on proclamations that recognize the threat from these vultures that are in your communities. And what steps can and should homeowners take prior to a natural disaster, and how can preparation help reduce chances of becoming a victim of fraud? Well, the first thing, we've been in an inflationary environment over the last four years. You've got to make sure you have the policies in place to replace your damaged goods, your damaged home. Your home is worth more. It costs more to replace your furniture, your TVs, your computers, your property. So contact your insurance agent. You probably need to do that right now to make sure you have the right coverages, and they also those coverages have kept up with inflation. So contact your insurance agent. The second thing is make sure you know where your documents are. Most insurance carriers store those for you electronically. But if you have paper documents, you need to put them in a safety deposit box or a location that would not be hit by a catastrophic event. So start today on those few simple steps to make sure your coverages are up to date. Yes, this is a good reminder to start today, specifically because hurricane season is nearly upon us. It starts on June 1st. So thank you for that reminder. And what signs should disaster victims be on the lookout for that may indicate a dishonest contractor? And what steps can we take to avoid being scammed? Well, the first thing is, is difficult. You need to slow down to take a pause. And that goes counterintuitive to what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to move quickly to get yourself back on your feet, to get your home repaired, to, to get your car repaired, to get your furniture or your home goods replaced. But the reality is you need to slow down. You need to slow down. Get three bids from contractors, as well as work with your insurance agents to make sure you have a vetted list. If someone calls you on the phone, if someone comes to your front door, if somebody sends you an email, turn it away, go slow, go through a process of contacting your insurance carrier, get three contractors and go through a process to select the contractor. Don't pay with cash all up front. You're gonna have to pay a small down payment, but you don't pay cash all up front. But go through a small process, work with your insurance carrier, get three contractor bids, and again, go slow, go through a process. Well, thank you so much for helping us out with that. But if we want some more information, where can we go? You can go to NICB.org, and on our website, you'll have a Contractor Fraud Awareness Week toolkit, which essentially articulates what I've said this morning, as well as um, you, can contact, or you can also file a criminal complaint through our website as well. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much once again. And everyone at home, if you'd like to see this interview again, you know you can head to First Coast News Plus on Apple TV, Roku, or Fire TV.